I finally be able to do some Disney planning. I'm so pumped. So today's video is going to be about lounges at Disney World. If you don't know what a lounge is, a lounge is basically a bar. Somewhere that you can get alcoholic drinks, non-alcoholic drinks, and little snack type thing. Most lounges aren't included on the dining plan, or they didn't used to be. Um, I think some items might be, but as a general rule, on my holiday I'm going there thinking nada is included. So those of you who may not know, Alex and I are going to Disney World in a few months time and there are some lounges that we want to visit and I'm just going to go through those ones now. So first up is Trader Sam's which is located in the Polynesian. We have been here before, it is so cool. The theming inside the bar is like nothing else. It's really tropical and Hawaiian. You can order these special drinks where events happen. If you order a zombie then all the lights turn to blue and all the servers come out like zombies. It's so much fun. Also have an adjoining tiki terrace and a man on a ukulele plays on this terrace which is located outside with views of the marina and the volcano pool and the Cinderella's castle. Next up is Abracadabra bar which is in a boardwalk illusionist theme i think the backstory is that six illusionists in the 1940s had created this bar and then one night they just suddenly disappeared and all their paraphernalia has been left behind and you get special drinks there as well i think the signature drink is a one that changes color as it's being poured and the flavors in it look really yummy then we have John Lindsay's Hangar Bar and here's the chap who flew Indiana Jones around in his plane and again the backstory to this bar is that he landed in Disney Springs where the bar is located and decided to settle there so all his flying memorabilia and adventure um, souvenirs are all in this bar there's loads and loads of detail and it's just a really nice place to hang out in Disney Springs just to reset and it looks way cool next bar we have accidentally visited before I'm not sure I would go again but it's definitely worth a mention in the world stop tour of bars it's tune in lounge which is located in Hollywood Studios it's next to a 50s primetime diner I think it's called which I have eaten at and it's a massive disappointment that restaurant the only upshot of the restaurant is the theming that it's a 1950s kitchen American family diner it's not a diner but it kind of has that feel but you're supposed to feel like you're at home so your servers are your parents and they throw napkins at you and the atmosphere and the theming is cool but the food is not so the waiting area for that restaurant is the tune-in lounge and so you can sit at the bar have almost exactly the same experience but none of the crappy food and a really cool drink it's definitely worth a drop in and the photo ops brilliant then there are two bars in Wilderness Lodge that I want to go to and I haven't decided which one sounds better. First up is Territory Lounge which I've wanted to go to for a really long time, I've just never made it there. And the thing that really appeals to me is that they do fondue and I think it's the only place in Disney that they do fondue which is basically like a cheese soup and you dip in bread and vegetables and things and it is so yummy and I never get to have fondue so that really pulls me to there. And also the lounge just looks really comfortable. It's supposed to be really, really quiet as well. It's so some bars and lounges are quite difficult to get a table at, but this one apparently easy. The other bar at Wilderness Lodge is a new one that's opened within the last year called the Geyser Bar and Grill. And they serve table service, quick service and lounge items. So you can get everything there. So you don't actually have to go for a lounge experience. So I might actually go there for a quick service experience, maybe one lunchtime or even cooler, maybe at nighttime. The thing that looks really cool about this bar is that it has no closed walls. All the outside external walls open and concertina back. So if it rains, they can close them, but otherwise it's all completely open. So you're essentially sat outside, but with the comfort of a bar and air conditioning. I should have mentioned this one before, when I brought up the Polynesian, but this one is a really, really itty-bitty bar. I wouldn't even call it a lounge. It's called Tambu Lounge in the Polynesian. It's really tucked away in the corner. The only reason why you should go there 
well there are two reasons you should go there. Number one is the bananas fosters bread pudding, delicious. And the Lapu Lapu drink, which comes in a pineapple. You know, we all have that want to have a cocktail in a pineapple. We've all got it. Obviously, I can't do this video without mentioning the Nomad, Nomad Lounge in the Animal Kingdom Park. It is on the edge of Pandora Land. It is themed to travellers and an African theme. The theme is just really cool. They do brilliant drinks and it's somewhere to try. I've also heard that it has the best seating area in the whole of the Animal Kingdom outside. You can see Pandora Land and it looks brilliant and people say they could just sit there and watch passers-by all day long. And the last bar that's worth a mention is La Cava del Tequila, which is in the Mexican Pavilion at Epcot's World Showcase. I think the bar looks quite underestimated when you go in and it's quite dark and small but the nachos are fresh and the cocktails are all completely imported from authentic Mexican tequila and margarita factories and they do the best ingredients. I've had a look at the menu. One that jumps out to me is a blood, blood orange tequila margarita. Oh, how good does that sound? So those are all the bars that we're hoping to visit, some more than others. Um, but I can't wait. I'm definitely going to be making a trip to Trader Sands because that's just the best place in the world. You've got to go there, but it gets so busy. My recommendations, don't go at opening time. Wait a couple of hours. As far as kids being able to go to lounges, they can go to some lounges at certain times of the day. I don't know a whole lot about it because I don't have children, but I did notice that kids were allowed and they're allowed in certain areas. I think when it gets to a certain time, they're not. So if you've got kids and you want to visit the lounges, and definitely do your research to find out if they're allowed to go. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Disney video every Tuesday. Bye!